Hey everybody, it's Lance the Lush, and today we're looking at King Goes Home, Imperial Goose Ale. Now Lush fans, I'm going to be the first person to admit, you know what, this is a gimmick, and I know it's a gimmick. And a lot of that is just because the name implies on here. Now for you Lush fans that don't follow sports, this is beverage so to speak is named for one person and that's LeBron James now the NBA player left Akron went to, my, went to Cleveland then to Miami then back to Cleveland now he's back here in town now I'm not going into details as far as what's, what that happened that's another story for another day but I am going to talk about the beverage itself now um this beverage is made by Hoppin' Frog Brewery here in Akron, Ohio. Now, Lush fans, so you know, I taped this on the last weekend in January, which is my birthday weekend. So I decided to stay local, not do any fancy, or anything fancy, excuse me, and we're going to have some little bit of fun with this. Now, if you decide to go to Hopping Frog Brewery, they are located in Gala Commons. I don't... U.S. Route 224 in Hillbush Avenue, in technically Hillbush Town, not in Hillbush Township, in technically Springfield Township, but it's still an Akron address. And I will have their um, website listed in the comments below. Now, um, I'll be the first person to admit when I look at this, I had to reschool myself on what this style of beer is. Now, I look at my notes right now. It's, um, and it's actually pronounced ghost. Now, you, my German friends, or German viewers of this, please correct me if I pronounce this wrong, because I want to get it 100% accurate when I do it. Now, when I look at my notes, it's a ghost-style beer. Now, it, now, the ghost is actually a style of beer that was actually created and produced in the ghoster style of Germany. Now, um, it's no this particular beer, if you want to call it, is known for its lemon tartness. I know that sounds kind of strange, but that's what it says when I did the research on it. Now, it has some herbal characteristics. Now, I have not had this beverage yet. But we're going to find out here momentarily if that has that or not. Now, um, it's also known for its saltiness. You know, I when I go back and look at the bottle, I kind of see it is from the Cleveland connection, how they might be quote-unquote salty, but we're going to find out. Now, um, Rape Beer had this as a 72 overall and a 48 style, and Beer Advocate as an 83 as good. Now, I'll also be admit that I remember when this, when this particular beverage first hit the shelves. And I actually said pass on this because I wanted to wait just to see one of those one-off deals. And it wasn't. It's still around. So I bought one last, well, a couple of weeks ago, excuse me. I decided to do the review now. Now, there's actually quite a few, few reviews on this at the moment. So I'm not the first one in the world as um, Louisiana Beer Reviews host right off the road like to say. And no disrespect to you, I know what you say, and I just can't say it in this standpoint. So I apologize for that right now. Now, um, as I go ahead and pop the bottle, I'm going to notice, because actually, the best way to describe it is quick, right off the bat, smokiness. And now, I'm starting to see, you can't really see it on the camera, is the late smokiness. Now, I'm not sure that's a good thing or a bad thing. Now, I'm going to do something I normally don't do and smoke directly out of the bottle. And I really don't smell anything other than, quote-unquote, glass bottle. Now, um, according to the bottle, it really doesn't say much other than it says it's um, 6.0 alcohol by volume. Now, it also says that it's um, nine international bitterness units. Now, I will read the description, description on the bottle. 
It says, when the king was, a, was crowned, fans in his hometown of Akron were excited and proud. But his departure left a sour taste in his mouth, making Akron salty about losing his king and wanting to forget. Now to honor his return and show these sour and salty feelings, we have brewed a beer to express these feelings and flavor, which was nearly forgotten in the style itself. This rails ghost style beer is refreshingly sour and salty and was nearly forgotten. Now making a comeback, and so was our king. Now under the specifications, it says, made from only the finest ingredients, creates a superb, flavorful beer, the highest, highest quality. So, um, I don't know if Hopping Frog, in this case, was placating the Akron or Cleveland, but it really sounded like they were placating, placating excuse me, the Cleveland on this one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a pour. It actually pours pretty good. It pours nice and smooth. And I'm figuring, you know, I put my thumb here, about a thumb's worth ahead. And I guess that's about all right. Now, um, now when I smell it, I, I do smell citrus in this, but it's not really pronounced. And I'm trying to think of anything else I smell in this, so to speak. Um, I really don't smell anything in this. Other than, I do get that salt smell for the standpoint. And it smells more like, the best way to describe it is um, table salt. If that makes a whole lot of sense. Now, um, now I go ahead and taste it. I do taste that lemony taste. There's a lot of lemon in this. Now, I noticed that, um, and maybe this is just me, that Hopping Frog, the brewery itself, tried to offset this with salt. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but please let me know if it is or not. Um, in all honesty, you got lemon and salt. And I know the IBUs are extremely low, so I, I understand that. But I, I taste no alcohol in this whatsoever. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing as far as that. Um, uh, well, Lush fans, I don't... This... I hate to say it, this is just another gimmick. Because if all I'm getting is lemon and salt, I go out and buy lemon juice and salt. Or worse, or even worse, I go buy a margarita. That's what it tastes like. Um, now, I don't know, and I don't profess to know if Mr. James himself had this, but he's more than welcome to leave a comment or send me a message and let me know. Now, you're probably wondering what kind of chocoboos I'm going to get this. Um, as I take one more sniff, and one more taste, just for you Lush fans. Honestly, I got to give it one chocoboo, and let me explain why. There's no alcohol taste in this, and there's no bitterness taste in this. All I really get is lemon and salt. Now, I'm thinking it's like one of the, more of those California wines to where it's more of a meal drink, meaning like you put it like, like with chicken or pasta, and there's nothing wrong with that. But for like you want to sit down and drink, this is not the drink, and I don't recommend this to you. Well, Lush fans, this is another edition of Lance the Lush. And this is, as I pick it up one more time, as I put it in focus here, Hopping Frog, King Goes Home, and Period Goes Ale. I thank for watching, and stay tuned for another edition of Lance the Lush.